Well, howdy folks, Elk Rex here, and just doing a video of the activities I had today of the Good Guys Heartland Nationals Car Show. As we went out there and got everything unloaded, I was with my cousin there, some pictures of him and his son, and my wife's around there somewhere too. And we spent the entire day down at the fairgrounds, Iowa State Fairgrounds with the car kicking back relaxing wandering around for hours and hours and just enjoying the sights and sounds of seven to eight thousand hot rods classic cars just roaming around burnouts going on it's just rumbling constantly with music blaring it's a long day but it was all kinds of fun you see all kinds of custom rods people just do all kinds of fun stuff with their uh, vehicles that just amazing what they do with it and uh, if you just want to kick back and slowly watch all the vehicles stop every once in a while and just look at them if you're into cars if you're not a car guy well you know you know there's those of us that do we just like looking at the, all the classics is there's cars and cars and cars i remember sitting on the used car lots or brand new and vehicles that were on the brand new lots that are now considered classics and I was like man I remember when that was brand new that wasn't a classic that's just a new car and I still have a problem with that and it's like I remember my first car I ever had I was driving a 67 Camaro RS SS with a 396 in it that was my first car that was in high school that thing was a uh, run like a crazy rate beast it was nasty so much horsepower that shouldn't be in the hands of a teenager yep lots of time down the one way just drag racing hey my buddies did it. we all did it that's just things you do and just looking at these things is like you see these cars and like oh that's cool wow that was cool i remember riding around with my buddies in that car they had one of these you know you see all these you know it's like i see these cars that uh family cars that we had I remember the first car we used to have a 65 Galaxy 500 and a uh, uh, Pontiac station wagon I think it was a 56 Pontiac station wagon might be like a star chief or something I was young then and you see these wagons and it's like oh man we used to have one of those and then you like oh yeah it's like we used to have that a Galaxy just like that Oh man, that's a 68 uh, uh, Mercury station wagon. We had one of those as a kid running around. And then you see all these other cars. And I remember it's like, oh yeah, it's like, that's the first car I ever had. Oh, there's the second car. It's like, I used to have that, that uh, 68 Cougar. Oh, there's, I used to have that 79 Cougar. And you see Thunderbirds and Camaros. And one of the things that we always said is like you can throw a stick with your eyes closed and hit a Camaro. There's so many of them on the fairgrounds it seemed like. They're everywhere. Then it was Mustangs, Cudas, Barracudas, old Fords, old Chevys. I love some of those old ones. That are, all the hot rods that they have they do. It's just amazing. Now that one there, it's got some good flames on it. There's an old fire truck. It's like, uh, oh that car, that truck right there, it's like no paint job on it but they sanded it all down so it's bare metal and they clear coated over top of it that was kind of cool now another look like a dodge char charger that was kind of a cool that was that uh goat there they had the uh tiger and the stuffed tiger in it that was kind of neat but yeah there's all kinds of stuff i just kept clicking and clicking i took pictures until i ran out of i started off with a br fully charged phone and by the time i was done it's all right had enough i have to the phone's dead and it was all these rat rods my cousin loved these rat rods that's a cool one there he was like ooh, oozing all over it and then you got all these uh like little novas and stuff chevettes and mustangs more mustangs yeah they're everywhere that thing that was cool that one had a uh engine in the back that was interesting a little and little mg with a ford v8 in it I think probably run like a rape beast. Mustangs, Chevys. Yep, they're everywhere. Now, if you're into classic cars, just sit back, relax. There's a Mercury Cougar, another one. You don't see very many. It took me a long time before I've seen my first Cougar in the uh, at the show. It's like running around. And it's like, oh, finally, I found a Cougar. Talked to the guy that had it. He was uh, 
we were discussing Cougar Talk. He's like, oh, yeah, it's like, he, he clued me in. It's like, now they have these, uh, the hideaway headlights that go up and down on those things and the sequential lights. They got all new digital stuff that you can put in so, instead of the mechanical ones. So you can change all those things out. I was like, oh, that is so cool. I need to go talk to Don Rush over at West Coast uh, Cougars. Maybe uh, I'd swap some stuff out of mine. And, yep, that's what we plan on doing with that. So, yeah, oh, that's a, a Metropolitan Nash. That was a cool little car. This thing's small. There's a uh, Packard. Yep, you don't see very many of those running around. And you can see there's a panoramic sight. All the Coug all the Camaros. Camaros, 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 more Camaros. Throw a stick, hit a Camaro. Oh, blindfold it. Oh, there's another Camaro. Lots of Camaros. And then you had some, like, other stuff just thrown in around amongst it. Yeah. That was a nice custom job on that. They did all kinds of... That was a really nice car, that one. That Dodge. That thing was interesting. 468 Cherry Bomb. That thing was really cool. For a dragster. Mustang Mach 1. There was an old custom job on a model, little Model T. The oldest car I think I seen was 1917, I think it was. Old uh, Ford. It's like they're showing up somewhere in the pictures. You know, all these old woodies. There's a bunch of woodies in there. There was an area that had a whole bunch of woody uh, station wagons everywhere you look. It looks like the old family car we used to have, except ours is blue. Now there's the burnouts going on. Lots of burnouts. More classics. Galaxy. Oh, that was a fair lane. Yep. And, yes, even Volkswagens. This was a cool car. They did a custom job on it. Made it from the Air Force. Had all kinds of paraphernalia from the military in it. Now, wait till you get to see the dash on this thing. This is freaking cool. Look at that dash. They took the instrument panels and everything out of an aircraft and put it as their dash panel. That was freaking cool. Little roll cage in it. That is pretty wild. Whole bunch of old, old uh, 30s, 20s, and 30s. Lots of hot rods. old Ford pickup I think that was like a 30 well there's finally there's a Cougar another I was talking to this guy here he is pretty cool a lot of information we we're swapping out ideas about Cougars man I'm a Cougar guy he had a nice little uh, convertible looks just the same interior on mine except mine's a lighter i got the we're kind of opposite his is the light green on the outside i had the light green on the inside and dark green on the outside that's kind of like color swap so when you look at it two of them ours are opposites and they were showing a picture of the uh electronic uh um, doors for the uh lights yeah, Mustang, Shelby, 350. <clears throat> I think that was a 57. Or no, yeah, maybe it was. Some of these I just take pictures of them because I was like, yeah, oh, okay, there's a javelin. Don't see very many javelins out there. I think that's the only one I've seen on the entire show. Okay, there's an old one. I think that was 1917. That was how old that one was. Had to crank that thing up with hand crank. Oh, there's a kit car. The little light, the light there, the light, you can see it goes back and forth. It goes wee wee. It had that little sound going wee 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 wee. <laughs> it's like okay, wooden spoked car. Old Ford. You see these things riding around. It's like kick, 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 as they're driving around. And there's some classic trucks. I 
Here is an Etzel. You know, that was the only Etzel I seen today. The only Etzel. Not a very good picture there. But it's a classic. I like to call this truck. That was kind of cool. This old Ford. I think it was a 34, 36. Somewhere in there. Then you got a Cobra. There was a couple of them around the show today. Loudest heck, 327s in them. You see the, the view going down the, the Grand Concourse. Another Mustang. Nice looking Mustang. There's a climbing up. I've seen. And then this car rolls up. And you can see the skyline. You can see the capital there. And he. Cook, I wish I got a video of the, the horn going off. I know this guy, this is Brian. He has his, uh, there is the picture of the horn. And it's, when it goes off, it sounds like a, the cat going, row, row, type of thing. Well, there's another classic. That was a 71, I think, convertible. Cougar convertible. That's when the 71, the bodies went huge. They went big. And there's a 67 Cougar. Love the looks of those things. They're just sleek. Booty tat. like how they just look mean. Very enjoyable looking car. Used to have one. And there's another Rat Rod. Cousin of the Rat Rods. You're looking down the Grand Concourse, lots of people. Like, like I said, seven or eight thousand cars everywhere. Everybody looked. Like, this was a big custom job on a '67 uh, Cougar. Everything's changed out on it. Doesn't even look original at all. Practically, massive custom job. Now that thing is like it's a roaming deck. It's a deck vehicle. Inside they have a keg and everything, so they're running around with a bar, wet bar and everything, and they have little tappers on it. That's cool. Or the Ford Fairlane, Torino. Used to have a '71 Torino. Now that's what the old uh, station wagon used to look like. Used to have an old station wagon. Oh, the old Maverick. That was a. 72 Maverick I think it is uh, we had everybody I knew had a Maverick those things were like four or five hundred dollars on the uh, used car lots back in the day they were just dirt cheap so practically every kid used to own a Maverick or the BMW well little, little, uh, it's like a motorcycle basically tri -wheel. that was a Chevy I think it was 34. Another one. Cool, cool, cool cars. Oh, another Cougar. That was a 67 there. That was a nice car. That's an XR7. You used to have a 69 XR7 and a 79 XR7. Cougar. Then there, there's that the deck again, the mobile deck. He's coming around again, tooling around. And then we got a '68 Cougar. That's an XR XR7G, Dan Gurney version. Those are kind of rare. Those were named after the Dan Gurney race car driver. really nice looking sport car this one is a little beat up needs a new upholstery in it leathers cracking original cousin and a son looking at an old uh, 76 Cobra Mustang Cobra they are back on the concourse again had to take a look at this I think it was a 55 
55 Chevy. Another, that's a 70 Cougar. Nice car. Nice little convertible. And we ran into another XR7G. And that's a 70 or 69 uh, Cougar convertible. A lot of convertibles. And that's uh, Brian driving by again. Oh, there's my cousin's. Uh, he has a, um, uh, what do you call that thing? It's made by Dodge from back in the day. Um, like a 48. But it's the Canadian version. And there's another 67. And there we go. We got a Mercury Capri. Another Mercury Capri. That was a uh, McLaren convertible. There's an Edsel. There's a custom Cougar again. He moved. I ended up taking pictures of it twice, I guess. Oh yeah, he was over in a custom area and must have went out and had to come back and parked elsewhere. Nice car. If you like that kind of work. That's a nice looking vehicle there. Lots of custom work on these. A lot of these cars, they will take modern uh, amenities from all the modern stuff that you'd find in a car today, and they throw them into the old bodies of the old cars and do a major custom job, and do all the interior, so it's like powered everything in there, modern stereo system, ride, you name it, it's all modernized. So it's a really comfortable, it's like, like having a new car of today, but you have all the amenities and look you got all the looks of the old stuff then he wants to take that one home the 55 old galaxy now this car here was cool he took all the stuff out of I think a 2010 12 or something like that in the old Ford shoe box and just did a number on this thing was a clap this was an awesome looking car I love fell in love with this car it's like I wanted to take it home it was just plush everything did all the work himself and he had all kinds of hiding holes for hiding stuff in it nice stereo system in the back and then you look at the dash you got the backup lights rear view touch screens and everything on it everything that came out of the original car of the new car he put into it got an old Merc power seats and everything Only problem I have sometimes is they take a Ford and I put a Chevy engine in it for some reason. Don't know why. It's uh, like sacrilege to me. But hey, there it works. That's what they want to do. Old, old pickup. Another Mercury Capri. That's 79, I think that one was. Now this was kind of cool. 
this vehicle was so high up you needed a ladder to get up inside it and that's the last we got is a saying hi goodbye to everything that is a um, a 69 I think it was a 69 Mustang so that's pretty much everything and I hope you guys enjoyed all the pictures the entire show if you're into cars and everything uh, like and subscribe and uh, we hope to see you again with some more basic uh, gaming stuff but you know if you like cars hey you gotta have other hobbies so, so alright hope you guys enjoyed it we will talk with you later Hellcrack's out